Hi guys, this is Stuart from Immersive Cinema Rooms. Uh, thanks for popping along and watching our video today. Um, we wanted to just show you one of our projects, which um, if you follow us on social on our website, you've probably seen um, the cinema we did down in East Sussex, 15 seater cinema, um, back towards the tail end of 2019, beginning of 2020. Um, but we've never actually shown you around the, uh, the place. So um, today we just wanted to give you a, a brief tour of what we've done here. And, uh, and just you know, show you what a, what a great room it is. So um, stay tuned, um, stay, uh, stay with us, and uh, we'll show you around. Okay, welcome back. So uh, we're now gonna be walking up the hallway into the cinema room. So uh, we'll just open it up. And basically you'll see in the cinema room that we've got all of the lights are on now. All of the lights in the room are on. Uh, this is what we call our cleaning mode. Um, so it's the brightest we, we get the room. Um, we have our uh, wall lights on down here. We have our step lights on. Uh, we have our lights on around our speakers. Um, we have the top of the wall lights, the down lighters in the palmet uh, or the coffered ceiling. And then we have some edge lit LEDs. And then we've also got the twinkly star light ceiling on. Now, every single light in this room is changeable um, via RGB DMX. So we can have the, we can have this, um, the steps one color, we can have the wall another color, we can have the ceiling another color. color. So that's completely up to the customer how they basically want it. So first of all, the most impacting thing you'll see in the room is we have 15 burgundy leather seats. Um, so these are custom built from a supplier called Front Row in, in America um, and then sent, sent over to us via the ship, I think they came over. So you've got two lounges at the front here uh, with three uh, recliners in the middle. And then up the back here, or in the middle and the back, you've got a center recliner, and then you've got what we call our love seats here. So no arm in between, but all, everything is independently reclinable. Um, up here, we've got the power mitt, um, the coffer ceiling, which houses um, the LED strip that we could do some side effects with, and also is a good framing for our twinkly starlight ceiling, which, like the lights, can be changed into any other colors we want. Coming up the side here, um, these here are our speakers. So these are uh, on wall speakers by a company called Arcoustic. And then basically, what we have here is we have uh, six of them around us. Um, so these are the front wide left and rights, these are your side surrounds, and these are your rear surrounds. Um, then up in the ceiling, which you can't see, uh, we have four in-ceiling Atmos speakers. Um, two of them are about here, uh, about one meter in front of the seating position, which is, you know, here. And then the other two are back here, uh, which are about one meter behind the seating position. Um, Behind the screen, if I show you the screen, uh, which currently is set to watch in sky in a 16-9 ratio, uh, behind here you've got uh, uh, left, center, right speakers. Uh, now these are Arcoustic A6 speakers. So actually the top one is aligned to the middle and back row of seating. And then the bottom one here is aligned to the front and middle row of seating. That means that the whole room gets a unified sound. In between those speakers are two big subwoofers. As I say, if you head off over to the Immersive Cinema Rooms uh, website um, or our social media pages, you'll see a, uh, a rough of the room or you'll see the room before the stuff went on. Um, at the front here is a uh, screen wall from our friends at Cinema Build Systems who also supplied the screen. So like the walls on the side here, the screen wall is actually a fabric. So if we go up to the screen wall, um, you can basically touch the screen wall and you can see it's actually moving. That way, none of the acoustics is trapped behind the screen and we can hide the speakers exactly where they're supposed to go. Giving the image, it's, um, giving the image to the, uh, from the projector to the screen is a Sony 4K laser projector. So this is the 7, 760 series, a uh, fantastic projector. And then the screen in question we've got is a side masking screen. So just to give you a little of an example of what this is about. So using our control system, which we have here, um, we can basically change the aspect ratio of the screen. So for instance, at the moment, we're watching in a 16.9 format, for, which is suitable for uh, programs like SkyQ or Apple TV. However, if you go over to services uh, where you have a cinematic image like Kaleidoscape or, you know, or Apple TV and Sky, you can change the aspect ratio of the screen. So if I go Kaleidoscape on our control system here, what's going to happen now is you'll notice the lights will go off and the screen will change. So the screen's now going to open up. 
and then you'll basically see that the panels of the screen have gone up and now the Sony projector is doing a uh, lens shift. So now our image from our Kaleidoscope media, movie server is now in a 21.9 filling the full 150 inches of the screen. We can then go left and right on our Kaleidoscope, we can find our film and then we can play our film from there. You'll also notice that our lights have gone out in the room and we've basically just got our twinkly light ceiling on. Um, this is so we've you know still got some nicety in the room um, and we're not getting any light washing from any other source. So just to show you the reverse of this, uh, so if I now go back and select my sky cue, what's going to happen now is it's going to go back the other way. So the screen will go off and then basically you're here, uh, more than C at the moment, the sides of the screen are going to come across and then the Sony projector is going to resize itself to basically fill the screen with a sky cue image in a 16.9 or what you would know as a widescreen format. Um, now you'll also notice our edging of our LED on our coffer ceiling has come on because uh, the client has basically said that right when I want to watch TV in here I want it to basically be with my twinkly light ceiling on and my edge lit on. However we can do multiple things via the control system so when the, the, light, um, the customer is sitting here we can basically do anything with the lighting we want. So for instance if I want to send it back to my cleaning mode um, I can send it back to my cleaning mode if I want to turn on my, um, uh, I want to turn on my side spots, you can see there, I've turned on my side spots, and I can turn off my side spots. And then if I finish my movie and I want to go out of the room before I switch the room off, I can basically just switch it back to cleaning, and then we're back where we were before. So basically, as you can see now, all of the lights are back on, and then basically we can see what's going on around the room. So this is a, an example of a, you know, a room that we built. When we took over the room, it was a complete shell. Uh, we got the builders just to build it out for us, and then we did all the building ourselves, so completely in-house. And I'm sure you'll agree it's a stunning room. It uh, gets so much use by the clients. Um, it always surprises us when we come back to the, the room how much, uh, how much uh, hours are on the projector. Uh, and because it's a laser projector, you don't really have to worry like you did with most projectors. Um, but that's about it. So thanks for popping by. Um, keep an eye on our YouTube uh, channel for more videos. And I hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you very much. Bye.